Yeah, so without further ado, I'd like to call up our special guest for uh, tonight. We always call up a special guest, monologist. Uh, I want you guys, he is a colleague of yours. He is a colleague of mine at NYU Shanghai. Yeah. You should all come and visit and applaud. <laughs> yeah. 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 Alex, uh, a couple more words. Anything, any word. Honesty. 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 <laughs> any, any. Okay, I can do that. Alright, All right, so um, this is about a time when I was uh, I was not as honest as I could have been. Um, I left something out. So um, I introduced uh, a couple of friends who got married uh, recently. <laughs> I didn't understand them well, you know. Um, Tova and Elias. And I had known Tova for a long time before graduate school. Um, and I had met Elias through my friend Jennifer. Um, Jennifer had, uh, is kind of a, she's a very intense person. She uh, is a workaholic who studies terrorism mostly. She works for a think tank now. And I found out about Elias because she told me that she had um, started dating this guy uh, who lived in her building. And they'd gone on a date, and I was like, oh, how did it go? She goes, oh, I know how to impress a guy. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm a little uncomfortable now. I didn't feel like <laughs> to share that. It's a very unusual thing for her to say. Um, so that's how I know Elias. And um, then I won tickets to a baseball game about a year later, um, 30 tickets, and uh, uh, invited little Tova and Elias. And they happened to sit next to each other. And this is where they met. Uh, where they met. Um, so, fast forward uh, two years, um, and I had to make toasts at their wedding reception, and it was Aww. very difficult not to tell how I knew Elias. <laughs> um, and I think someday I'll tell Tova, but uh, um, <laughs> so far I haven't, so I've managed to resist so far. I bet you don't know how to introduce a man to your mother and have her cook a meal for him. Does the meal have rice in it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying because you can't taste that and it has a very high mortality. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to kill a man. I, I, I study terrorism, okay? That's my field of interest. I, I know a lot about it. Um, doesn't mean I condone it, but it does. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like there's a deeper issue here, so man. Uh, is that right, Jenny? It sounds like you want to hold power over all the men. I just want to be with a man and be happy. Honey, you are so naive. We are women. We have to take the power. Okay, this is why you are single, and I have choices. Okay? <laughs> this is my uh, I just want you to know, uh, when I first met you, I said, Karim, this is the girl you must marry. Uh, I think we have great chemistry. <laughs> right. I mean, something I've studied for a very long time at school. Uh -huh. I'm a chemical engineer. I just am super impressed by what you can build and construct. I would say that our relationship is explosive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would also use those words. Mostly because of the work we have done creating plastic explosives from scratch. God, you mix a good plastic. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, The way it can wrap around a door frame or be stuffed into the back of a motorbike. God, it's so malleable. Oh, much like your heart. Oh, 
Thank you, Samantha. You make Karen blush. It's ticking. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, I think you know why we've uh, brought you into the uh, CIA underground investigation quarters. Is it to take advantage of me? <laughs> uh, I don't know why we haven't cuffed you. Please have a seat. Um, no, it is because you have Oh, you're been... going to handcuff me later? <laughs> Ma'am, this is a very serious allegation that you have been affiliated with terrorism against the United States of America. Oh, basically that. a lifetime in prison. Okay, I know what it seems like, but basically, um... You have given tips to men around the country who weren't even going to be terrorists. I know, it sounds horrible. <laughs> and out of curiosity, they built all these bombs and they have killed many of our fellow citizens. I know it sounds horrible out of context. <laughs> okay, but what you have to know is, at that time, I was trying to get laid. So, does that change things? And yeah. I did, by the way. It was successful. Well, we're both happy for you and still grieving for the families who lost many lives as a result of your actions. Well, I mean, I would argue that those ethnic conflicts were ongoing for a long time <laughs> and would still be ongoing with or without my interference. But seriously, they were so hot. Does that play into it if I show you? Samantha, I, I want you back. I will do anything. Uh, I'm going to throw a pipe bomb in your window now. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, it went into my neighbor's window. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Run, Samantha. <laughs> Attorney General, my client is innocent because she was trying to get laid. Well, uh, <laughs> that is a solid case. Well, then I think uh, we can just resolve this out of court, don't you? Well, do you have an offer? My offer is let my client go. My offer is please imprison my client for life. My offer is please have sex with my clients. <laughs> it's highly unorthodox. I hear she must be good in bed because she's proven men to kill themselves and others. But, uh, it would be a surefire way to get some DNA evidence. It would be a surefire way to have sex. You just seem like you haven't had any sex in a long time, and so you should uh, oh, I am just take advantage of my client while I've got her in handcuffs. I am frigid. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. You know, I did... No. <laughs> I lied. I saw your YouTube channel, actually, and I am made to understand you haven't had sex in some time. I have intimacy issues. Well, what better place to talk about it than the court of law? Yeah, sorry everyone. We'll get started soon. Uh, <laughs> we could have done this in private chambers. I prefer to have honest discussions in front of a jury. Uh, do you want me to keep recording this? <laughs> I'm a court reporter and it's not... We're going to want to review this for the therapy file, so please. Yeah, if I could get a copy of those. Uh, <laughs> best webcast ever. <laughs> Is that a giant tree? <laughs> <laughs>